Hi, my name is Matt Creamer, and I'm a graduate student in neuroscience at Yale University. When I first started my PhD, I wanted to understand how animals use visual information to navigate their environment. As animals navigate the world, they must regulate their movement, including both orientation and speed. For instance, consider the situation encountered by someone on a bike. As the biker approaches a narrow gap, she slows down, using visual cues to guide her path. I was interested in understanding what visual cues allowed animals to regulate their speed. So I decided to ask my PI. Hey, Damon. Hey, Matt. My name is Damon Clark. I'm a professor here at Yale. So it turns out a lot of animals use visual cues in order to guide their navigation through the world. And motion is a particularly common cue to use. We decided to use the fruit fly Drosophila to investigate how that particular animal regulates its walking speed. And it turns out Drosophila is a perfect animal to use for this because it's a canonical model for understanding how the brain computes visual motion. To give you a sense of why motion detection is so useful, take a look up here, where I'll put the feed from my head-mounted camera. Most research in fruit flies has focused on how they control their orientation. When a fly observes full field rotational motion, it turns in the direction of the motion it perceives. This acts as a core stabilizing mechanism. If something in your environment turns you off course, you can turn in the direction of the motion you see, and that will regain your original trajectory. Course stabilization is very important, because natural scenes can be very complex. In addition to regulating orientation, flies must control how fast they move. I decided to focus my study on how flies regulate their walking speed. One convenient aspect of working in flies is that they're very easy to manipulate. In addition to measuring behavior, we can manipulate the brain using powerful genetic tools. To measure behavior, we built a virtual reality arena where we can present visual stimuli and simultaneously record the flies walking. This is a video of a fly in our rig. The fly is suspended above a freely rotating ball and is presented visual stimuli on panoramic screens arrayed around it. The ball's rotations are measured by an optical computer mouse, and visual stimuli are presented on screens in front of the fly. To increase the throughput of our setup, we constructed 10 of these rigs in parallel. We also considered some human studies, but unfortunately humans performed poorly in this paradigm. Once we had built the virtual reality rig, we could ask the question, do flies regulate their walking speed using visual information? We placed flies in a virtual tunnel, which contained an hourglass-shaped narrowing in it. We measured their speed as they walked through the virtual tunnel. This plot shows the fly's walking speed as a function of position in the tunnel, with a diagram of the tunnel at the top. Sure enough, when they reached the narrowing, they slowed down. But how does the fly know that the virtual walls are nearby? Well, as you walk, objects that are closer to you move faster across your retina than objects that are far away. Think about when you're riding your bike down the street. The nearby objects move quite rapidly, but the buildings in the distance hardly shift at all. This makes motion detection a good candidate for regulating walking speed. The hourglass hallway stimulus showed that flies use visual information to regulate their walking speed. To further dissect this behavior, we showed the flies a simpler stimulus, a drifting grating moving from front to back on both sides of the fly. This stimulus is like the hallway, but now the fly's behavior doesn't influence the stimulus giving us complete control over what the fly experiences. Just like in the virtual hallway, when we showed the drifting grating stimuli to flies, they reduced their walking speed. But what kind of motion detection algorithm does the fly use to regulate its walking speed? We use the fly's responses to these drifting grating stimuli to characterize the tuning of this behavior. Broadly speaking, motion detection algorithms can be split into two groups, temporal frequency tuned and velocity tuned. But what exactly do these two categories mean? You can think of temporal frequency as the flicker rate of a drifting sine wave grating, while velocity is how fast it moves across your retina in degrees per second. For instance, these two stimuli have different velocities, but the same temporal frequency, which is apparent when you look at only one point. Other stimuli may have the same velocity, but different temporal frequencies. Many circuits, including the circuit Drosophila uses to regulate its orientation, are tuned to the temporal frequency of the stimulus. That is, they have responses that peak at a single temporal frequency regardless of stimulus wavelength. On the other hand, velocity tuned circuits have responses that peak at a single velocity regardless of stimulus wavelength. 
By showing flies many stimuli with different velocities and wavelengths, we show that flies regulate their walking speed with a circuit that is velocity tuned. This is distinct from previously studied motion detection circuits in the fly, which are temporal frequency tuned. Furthermore, this isn't some quirk of the fruit fly Drosophila. In mammals, early cortical areas tend to be tuned to the temporal frequency of moving stimuli, while deeper cortical areas tend to be tuned to the velocity of moving stimuli. By finding these same two computations in Drosophila, we can use the powerful genetic tools in that organism to dissect these circuits and computations. What we hope is that these dissections in Drosophila will inform us about the computations and circuits in mammalian cortex. In our paper, we identify several neurons that are involved in the walking response and propose a computational model that can explain our results. We hope you'll check it out. This is recording. Somebody clap. Wait, wait, no, not yet, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Um, take one, take one. Have you were applauding. <laughs> take one. Okay.